Hi everyone, I remembered to turn my microphone on this time, and I saw a comment on my most recently posted video that really sparked my curiosity. Now, I can't obviously get to every request that people recommend, but this one honestly got me curious. So Linshark here asked, can it play online chess? And truthfully, I have no idea. But I would love to find out, like I said here. So I figured I would try computer use again and ask Claude Sonnet 3.5 to challenge me on my chess.com account. So this is my, my username here. And I am going to see if it can just challenge me to a game. And I'm going to see if it can if it will follow my request. I'm just going to ask it to lose on purpose. I'm going to try and scholars made it. Uh, I don't know if it will, if it will actually even be able to challenge me, but uh, let's go ahead and figure this out. And I apologize. I'm talking a little bit quiet because my roommate is still sleeping in the other room. So I have to be a little bit quiet when I do this, but anyways, I'm going to type here, challenge the user. chess.com to game of chess. I'll just say standard to a standard game of chess, cause not any weird game mode. Um, purposefully allow yourself to lose within 10 moves. Okay, so we're gonna see if it can do that. Okay, so it's going to go to chess.com and oh boy, things are happening. Things are really happening, aren't they? So it's on chess.com and what is it doing here? I'll be awaiting any challenges here. Oh, you cannot. Oh, darn. It says you could use your own account to challenge. You could watch their games as if they're probably playing. You could analyze the previous games. Okay, so it cannot challenge me directly on chess.com because it cannot create an account. Let's see if it can maybe challenge the computer. Maybe one of the bots on chess.com. Uh, I don't know who's out there, but let's just see here. Maybe, oh, Pia Kremlin has a bot now. Okay, so maybe we'll just have it challenge the robot Pia Kramling for a second here. Challenge the Pia Kramling bot on chess.com to a game of chess. So it's running here. It says, I'll help you play against the Pia Kramling bot, but I want it to play against the Pia Kramling bot, not me. I'm going to lose because I'm nowhere near as good as Pia Grambling. Oh, so it's on the page. Okay. And is it going to play? Now I need to click the play, but oh, it's playing chess. Oh, it's a playing. So it's playing against the bot. So we're ha we have Anthropic AI Claude Sonnet 3.5 versus Pia Grambling. What is it trying to do here? Is it trying to go for F4? Is that it's trying to go for F4? Come on, that's sus, yo. That is sus. N no shade to any F4 players out there. Why is it going to play? I'm actually really curious to know if it can play. It's taking a long time to think of its first move. Goodness. I wonder if it's thinking of a strategy here. It's trying to figure out what's the best opening for it. But it's currently clicked on the F2 pawn, so it's still running. I hope it's not like calculating all of the potential first moves it could make. Okay, let's see here. What are you doing now? I'll wait for Pia's response. After she moves, I'll make another intentionally poor move to set up a quick loss. What's going on? I don't see any of these moves happening here. Now I'll wait for Pia's this opening with F3 and G4 is known as the Barnes opening. And it's considered one of the worst possible openings as it's really weakens the king side and doesn't help development at all. Okay, so it did not... Okay, we ran into a timeout here, or a rate limit error. So I was talking about moves it was playing, but it didn't actually do anything. It says, I see that Pia has played e5 attacking the center, but Pia bot did not do that. That's kind of interesting. It it kind of hallucinated this. Like it didn't actually, like none of those moves actually happened, but it, it tried to do it nonetheless. Okay. 
um, something something went wrong there. Okay, so it could not actually make moves against this uh, this bot here. I wonder if we maybe go to Leeches. Maybe we can see it try to play a bullet game. If just one minute. It's probably going to get absolutely thrashed because it can't take screenshots that fast, or at least I don't think it can. But let's go ahead and try and get it to play a bullet game on Lee Chess and see how it does. Uh, so let's go to the response. So let's go here. Play a one plus zero game on LeeChess.org with a random person. So okay, let's let's see. Can uh, can this can this thing challenge a, a real human on the other side to a bullet game? Whoever is playing on the other side is probably just going to get a free win. But we'll we'll find out. So let's go ahead. Let's play this. Okay, here play a one plus zero game. But cannot play a game as it would require creating an account on the platform. No, it doesn't actually. It does not require one last attempt here. I'm going to try and have it play a bullet game with someone on Lee Chess again. If it runs into a problem about needing an account, I'm going to correct it and say, no, you actually don't need an account. So let's go see if if it can do this. Yes, you gotta click on one plus zero. Oh, it's playing against someone. <gasps> it is playing against an anonymous person. Okay, so it actually is off to the races. This person is Oh my gosh, what is it saying here? Great, the system has matched us with an anonymous point for a one plus zero bullet game. You'll be playing with a black piece. I'm not playing. What are you talking about? You're the one who's playing. And I cannot actually play the game. That would require continuous interaction in real time. Oh, so it could not actually play the game. Okay, so it did start the game, but it just said, hey, I can't play because I can't do continuous interaction in real time decision making. So that's very cool that it was actually able to challenge someone on the other end. Sorry if you're that anonymous person on the other board and you were expecting a good bullet game. You just got paired with paired with Claude's Haunted 3.5 trying to play chess. So anyways, very interesting. Take two. We're going to try and have it play Pia for the last thing and we'll have it start with the black pieces and not the white pieces. So it'll actually have to respond to Pia's first move. Okay, so here we go. Challenge the Pia Kremling bot on chess.com with the black pieces and try and play the Sicilian if... Actually, what does Pia Kremling play? Pia Kremling op white openings. What does Pia Kremling play? She plays a lot of D4, it looks like. D4, 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 C4, D4. Almost no E4. Oh, there's an E4. Um... Wait, is she playing as wait, what is she playing as here? A lot of these games started with D4, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna assume she plays D4. I don't really know any D4 defenses. What are D4 defenses? Banco, the Benoni. Okay, let's just let's have it play the Benoni or something. I actually don't even know what the Benoni is. Benoni defense. I see. Okay, so let's let's have it play the Benoni if it if it faces D4 and maybe just the I don't know, the French, if it plays e4, that's like the only thing I know. So, okay, let's go back here and try and play the Benoni if she plays e4, and the French defense if she plays e4 as white. Okay, so here we go. We are going to see how it does against Pia again. Whoa, what was that? I don't know if you guys heard that, but the... Where did that come from? These sounds were not there before. Are you guys hearing this? Whoa. Th that's new. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> but, okay. It's uh, going to play Pia now. I guess it's just showing all the steps. I mean, it's, it's helpful to know when all these steps are being executed, but that's going to get annoying. Okay, so playing Pia, play as black gonna play as black you gotta click that right there click that all right okay now it's playing against pia d4 here we go d4 is gonna play the benoni it should play c5 if i'm not mistaken 
Okay. You didn't actually play C5. <laughs> it, it, uh, it is not playing anything. So interesting. It is just taking a bunch of screenshots here. Now we wait for Pia's next move. You didn't actually make your first move. I think it's got a timeout here. Okay, so after waiting a couple of more seconds, I think it's safe to say it's not actually going to play anything, and it's probably just going to... <laughs> it says she played 2c4 as expected. Now let's play 2c5 to enter the modern Benoni. You actually haven't played anything. I don't know who you're fooling here, but it's still going. It's playing this hypothetical game. Now we've successfully entered the modern Benoni opening with 1d4, 9 6 2c4, c5. Let's respond playing and see how P responds. Wait a minute. I, was that was that actually how you played the Benoni? I didn't... Oh my gosh, it's making all these moves, but nothing's actually happening. It's just taking screenshots. Yes, P has played 3d5. Now let's play 3e6 to challenge her center. Well... What universe is it in? Is it in like a quantum, like parallel universe that is actually playing this game? And it timed out. So, okay. Um, that was very interesting. Uh, I think that it was safe to say that it can't actually play uh, in the sense that it it's, well, it's playing in its head, but it's not actually playing on the board. So that, uh, I guess we figured that out. But thank you again to... Linshark for recommending this test. I literally was just perusing the comment section. I saw that and was like, I want to know if it can do that. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you next time.